your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosteru. A beautiful start to your Wednesday morning out there. 76 here in Abilene. Taking a look on SkyCam, skies are clear out there. We're going to enjoy plenty of sunshine for the rest of your day today. That's going to help bring temperatures closer or even surpass those triple digits later this afternoon. Unfortunately, as the heat really starts to kick in now, 99 for a high here in Abilene later today. We're going to stay into the upper 90s through Thursday, Friday, all the way into your weekend, even at start out July. Looks like temperature is going to stay well above average, staying in those upper 90s. As you can see on our trend line here, really not moving that much. Slight dip on Friday, but otherwise temperature is still going to stay very warm as we head through the next week or so. We're still under that high confidence of above average temperature sticking around for at least the next six to ten days. You can kind of see that extending into portions of central and west Texas. We're going to hang on to these warm temperatures, but it doesn't even extend for the next week. It could last the next two weeks, even the next eight to 14 days. So you can kind of see that dip in these above average temperatures, the confidence of it rather for much of West Texas. So we're talking temperatures in the mid upper 90s, possibly triple digits sticking around for the next two weeks. Our average high for this time of year here in Abilene, 92 degrees. So you can expect temperatures just warmer than that to stick around for possibly the next two weeks. Unfortunately, we're entering this very hot weather pattern. We're going to be stuck under. So every day we're just going to want to keep to remind you of the heat safety tips out there. So you can keep these in the back of your head if you're planning on spending time outdoors. Try to avoid the hottest time of the day, anywhere from about 11 or noon here in the morning, all the way into about 6 or 7 o'clock at night. Once that sun starts to get a little bit lower out in the sky, stay hydrated if you're planning on being outdoors. Drink plenty of water. Also wear sunscreen if you're planning on spending any time out in the sun. Take frequent breaks from the heat out there. Find somewhere that has air conditioning. If you're working outside, find somewhere that at least has a little bit of shade. Otherwise, uh, bring those pets indoors too. Don't forget about them. They get hot. They get dehydrated just like we do. Make sure they have plenty of water to drink from as well. Also, don't forget to, about those kids and the pets in your car. It gets very hot very quickly this time of year. If you're running inside, be sure to bring them with you. Always check the back seat if you're out running errands. For your Wednesday morning, though, temperature is going to be in the upper 70s and 80s out there. Still warmer, mainly north of I-20 this morning. Otherwise, down to the south, we're seeing those 70s. Possibly a few high clouds making their way through, but otherwise, we'll see plenty of sunshine for your Wednesday today. Already around 90 degrees in the lower and mid 90s by your lunchtime. Seeing plenty of sunshine. Wind may be a bit breezy at times, but check out these temperatures later this afternoon. Many of us likely going to break that century mark as we head into your Wednesday. 100s across most of the big country. 99, though, for a high here in Abilene with those winds up to 20 miles per hour and plenty of sunshine today. It's going to be a very hot one. Cooling back down into the mid-70s tonight. Staying clear and a bit on the breezy side. As high as staying in the upper 90s all the way through the last day of June. By Sunday, though, just a 10% chance for an isolated shower. Unfortunately, this is going to be mainly into the far western big country. Not enough to ruin any plans and keeping that chance very small. But as we head into the first part of July, looks like high is still going to stay in the mid and upper 90s out there with sunny skies and dry conditions. All right, sunny and dry. That's better than the humidity because our next topic, well, those little.